are probably quite quite a bit uh, more predictable than uh, virtually anything because of the results that we've seen so far in World Cup. I'm going to stick still with Michaela Fagini in the women's downhill simply because I think it's a fast downhill, it's a tough downhill, but you've got other people like Maria Volliser and uh, the, uh, the Carol Merrill may, may surprise the Swiss party and put a, put a damper on the Swiss party. Downhill will be good. Vicini, Valisa, Wolf, this three. Well, the women's downhill is a little bit more demanding for the women than the men's is for the men. Uh, there again, you can't deny uh, Fagini. She won two downhills over in Grindelwald, which is a little bit more demanding than like Altamark. But then Volisher could come on. She usually does this time of year. And, um, you know, those are the, the two names that I'm really looking at. But then Carol Merrill who won two Super Gs. She might be a surprise. She was fourth in Valdezera in the opening downhill. Predictions abounded on the result of the women's downhill. And the first to pitch her lot against the world's best was Canadian Karen Percy. 23-year-old Karen Percy has had top 10 results in downhill, slalom, super G, and combined, and looked good on the Vale course. She was fast on the top section, holding the tuck and taking a good line through the middle section. She's stable in the air and fast. Almost 107 kilometers per hour at the speed trap. Skiing down towards the midpoint, she's fastest at the midpoint. Percy was racing for gold and only had to hold the tuck into the Zielschuss. The time to beat, 1.49.19, and she crosses the line with a time of 1.48 even, 1.19 seconds ahead. Karen Percy was leading the 1989 Downhill Championship. Someone everyone predicted to do well was Switzerland's Michaela Fagini, a veteran of 13 World Cup downhill victories on a course which should have suited her aggressive skiing style. Fagini's strong in the tuck and holds the speed well. She squashes the jumps to reduce her air time and at the speed trap she was almost a second faster than Percy, the current leader. Heading through the broad sweeping turns towards the third midpoint time check, Fagini loses almost a second and has only 200 meters to make up the difference. She holds the line well over the final jump and dives into the tuck towards the finish. She crosses the line just over half a second behind Percy with a time of 1.48.57. Third after eight races, Fagini is clearly disappointed with her result. Next to race is the woman who came to Vale to defend her downhill world championship the glamour girl of the Swiss team, Maria Valesa. It's no secret that she and Fagini are great rivals, and right from the start, Valesa was out to prove a point. The Vale course was almost designer-built for Valesa's style of skiing. She's strong and low in the tuck to maximise speed over the gliding sections, and she uses the body to carve through the turns. At the midpoint, it was all working well. She's almost a second faster than the competition and increasing speed. Through the middle section of the course, Vallis's driving determination showed, and she had an aggressive style that seemed to suit her skis on the day. A slight overjump through the speed trap, but her time shows that she's fastest. Leading into the third midpoint time, her time is 109.6 kilometers per hour. The midpoint time to beat, 135.05, and Vallis is flying almost one and a half seconds faster, and only the final jump and shush into the finish area to go. You can sense her determination, and across the line, She's a staggering 1.5 seconds ahead with a time of 1.46.50. Karen Percy could only watch as the Swiss star's dreams unfold, her second consecutive downhill world championship. World championships bring out the best in the individual and in doing so, throw up some surprises. The women's downhill was no exception. 26-year-old German star Karen Diedler world ranked 16, skied the top section of the course within reach of the top three. She was skiing brilliantly and through the timing trap was faster than current second place Karen Percy of Canada. All eyes were on the almost unheard of skier as she approached the midpoint time. 135.09 and only four one hundredths of a second slower than Percy and looking good. She's wide over the final jump into the Zilschus costing vital fractions. Percy's time, 1.48 even, and Diedler crosses the line 1 one hundredths of a second slower and 1.5 seconds behind Vallisa. 
third place for the German. But the surprises didn't end there. Japanese skier Emi Kawabata with a start number of 21 silenced the Finnish area crowd with a blistering top section run. She was fast through the midsection and she had some big air off the dip into the timing trap. A staggering 108.3 kilometers per hour and the Japanese girl was flying. Her time at the midpoint was only 1.53 seconds off the lead. No one could believe this girl's run. Over the final jump and into the Zilschuss and the Japanese girl had skied the race of her life. She crossed the finish line in fifth place with a time of 1.48.32, a tremendous boost to Japanese skiing. After the tension-filled race, we talk with second place Karen Percy. How are you feeling about that? I feel really good. I think I did the best race I could with my number and, and concentrate on what I had to do and I just had to wait and it turned out to be silver. It's great. Can you just talk us quickly through the course? Sure. Well, the top, the top's flat. Um, and rolling and turning, uh, a lot of rolls and turning changes, and then you get past the midsection, and then you get into even some more bigger rolls. And the whole bottom is fairly high-speed we'll technical turns and into the finish. And you skied it perfectly today. I tried. <laughs> I think so. I haven't seen it. I felt okay. I feel that I can take my chance today, and uh, I also had the best material this this morning, and also feel that uh, I can do it. And it was a perfect run, I did it. <laughs> because when we talked to you on the eve of the race, you weren't that confident. So what did you do today to win? That's true. I think uh, to reset to us that yesterday changed the weather and also my inside changed a little bit. And I knew that these new conditions on the downhill will be much better for me than in training runs. And uh, with this confidence, I, I was on the starting gate. Well, the final results in the women's downhill, Karen Diedler of Germany third, Karen Percy of Canada second, and up on top, Maria Wallacea of Switzerland, 146.5.